Hello, today is Monday the 17th of May 2010 and I'm giving you the daily outlook from MaxiForex. The dollar finished higher versus most majors on Friday as uncertainty surrounding the euro's future rose and investors turned to the safety of the dollar. Nasdaq fell by minus 1.98% and Dow Jones declined by minus 1.51% as uncertainty grew. 98% of the names in the S&P 500 and all 30 Dow components posted declines. Crude oil fell by minus 3.16%, closing at $71.90 a barrel. Gold declined by minus 0.2%, closing at $1,232 an ounce. Today, TIC long-term purchases are expected higher, with $50.5 billion versus $47.1 billion prior. The euro plunged versus the dollar, reaching its lowest level since Lehman Brothers collapsed on October 2008 over concerns it's headed for disin disintegration. The euro region is at risk despite a rescue package for the region's most indebted countries. Overall, euro USD traded with a low of 1.2354 and a high of 1.2576. Euro USD main trend is downwards. Oversold daily RSI conditions could suggest a retracement is near. No economic data expected today. The pound decline versus the dollar reaching near its yearly lows as uncertainty regarding the euro rose and BOE officials stated the austerity measures will leave the interest rates at their lows for longer than earlier expected. Overall, GBP USD traded with a low of 1.4495 and a high of 1.4640. GBP USD is still on a downward tr downtrend, and as long as the pair is below the 1.48 level and the 50 day moving averages, it remains bearish. No economic data expected today. The yen gained slightly versus the dollar as equity sell off continued, encouraging investors to the safety of the yen. Overall, USDJPY traded with a low of 91.80 and a high of 93.10. USDJPY is facing strong resistances at the area of 94 and 94.50 and is likely to gain support from the 91.50 level. Today, tertiary industry activity is expected lower with minus 1.3% versus minus 0.2% prior. The Canadian dollar decline versus the dollar over concerns the European austerity plan will cut oil prices, the country's biggest export. Overall, USDCAD traded with a low of 1.0211 and a high of 1.0378. USDCAD turned back upwards after touching the 78.60% Fibonacci retracement of the upward movement it, sta it started in mid-April. No economic data expected today. Well, that's all for today, and be sure to visit us at maxiforex.ru.